Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode number five of the Iona Athletics Podcast, your source for all the ladies in Iona College Athletics. I'm your host, Mike Phillips. Got a good show for you this week. We'll be joined in just a bit on the phone by women's soccer coach Todd Plord. That conversation is going to come your way after our weekly recap, which we will get into right now. Let's go back to Monday, September 30th. A bit of news from the women's lacrosse program. Lauren Kahn has been named the new head coach of the Iowa women's lacrosse team. She comes to New Rochelle after five years as an assistant at Columbia. We move ahead to Tuesday, October 1st. Some coaching news on the men's basketball side. Trey Arnold has been promoted to men's basketball associate head coach. So a promotion for Trey Arnold. Let's go ahead to Wednesday, October 2nd. The softball program was honored by the NFCA for academic excellence. And the Iona women's softball team, 29th highest GPA among all D1 programs last season. So congratulations to them for an excellent academic achievement. And let's get into some actual game action here. Starting with the women's soccer team. They won their non-conference matchup against Delaware State 2-zip. Amber Crispin, Sophia Giamanco scored the two goals for Iona. Men's soccer won their final non-conference matchup at Fairleigh Dickinson 2-1. Asad Makic's last-minute goal proved to be the game-winner in that contest. Mauro Bravo had four shots, two shots on goal for Iona in that game. Last but not least from Wednesday, men's water polo fell in overtime at home against number 17-ranked St. Francis Brooklyn, 14-12. Jorge Andres Torres made 14 saves in net, while Herman Rodriguez had a team-best 16 goals. So, great effort there from the men's water polo team, but they came up just short. On Friday, October 4th, both the men's and women's soccer programs were honored for academic achievement by United Soccer Coach Association, and the women's team had the highest GPA among all MAC honorees. So again, outstanding academic achievement from both soccer programs here at Iona. Saturday, October 5th, a busy day on campus, so we'll get right into that. Men's water polo played a pair of matches at the Heinz Center. They fell to Brown in the morning, 14-11. Uh, at nighttime, played MIT, lost in sudden death, 10-9. to Prior to that game against the Pioneers, the Gales hosted their annual Senior Day festivities, so that was a great time for all the men's water polo seniors. Iowa Women's Soccer Program hosted its opening MAC match against Siena. They lost at home 2-1 to in overtime. Iowa's goal came in the second minute of the game. Amber Crispin scored off an assist from Faith Preziosi. The two had a Six goals apiece, and they are tied for the team lead. The men's soccer program went on the road for their MAC opener. They won at Siena 2 0. Frances Chulia scored his first career goal, and Mauro Bravo tallied on the insurance score in the second half. And the Gales extended their winning streak to five consecutive matches, so the Gales are heating up at the right time as conference play begins. Cross country raised the 46th annual Paul Short run. The men's team placed 18th off of 44 teams racing, and they were paced by Wynn Johnson. Gemma Nuttall led the women's team with a 37th in individual finish among nearly 300 runners, so great job there. And last but not least, on Saturday, the volleyball team lost in four sets at Quinnipiac. Cassandra Patsos and Carla Johnson both had 10-plus kills for the Gales there. And finally, Sunday, October 6th, the Island volleyball team was back in action again. They fell in straight sets at Fairfield. Men's water polo hosted number 12, Harvard, at the Heinz Center, but they did lose the game 19-9. And that will do it for your weekly recap of Iona Athletics. We'll get to our interview with Coach Todd Plord right after this. All right, we are back on the Iona Athletics Podcast. Joining us on the phone today is the coach of the Iona women's soccer team, uh, Todd Plord. Coach Plord, welcome. How are you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to have you on, too. Back in our first episode, uh, Coach Pienta from Cross Country recommended you as a guest, so I'm excited to uh, get to talk to you today. Excellent. He's the, he's the guru. He is the guru, but we'll talk about your team today, and we'll start with you because you spent the past uh, 12 years as an assistant coach. This is your first year as a full-time head coach, Iona, so what made you feel like now was the time to pursue a head coaching opportunity? I think it's been, uh, it's been fun being an assistant coach, sitting back, and, and always seeming to be able to be the good guy 
um, now having uh, your own program to run. Good. You do it exactly how you want to do it. Um, and, and it's been a lot of fun. And there's been a lot of support here uh, from Iona. Yeah, so obviously you're here at Iona now. It's your first year here. So what were your expectations when you took this job here at Iona? Just to, to build the program uh, from the ground up. It, it struggled for the last couple of years, wins and losses wise. But I think we have a, a great group of seniors that's very important for, for any program. And the leadership that the six of them have brought to the table this year has been tremendous. And with, with eight games to go, um, we've achieved wins and losses of what they did all of last year. So we're excited for that. Yeah, definitely a step in the right direction for the program, and you, those six seniors can help you build a new culture here at Iona. So what do you look for out of your student-athletes to help build the culture you want to create here? I think it just stems from work ethic and, and watching the seniors. All six of them came in in great shape. Uh, they've been leaders on and off the field. Academically, you know, the team GPA was like a 3.62, uh, which is tremendous, especially when you have close to 20 girls on the team. Um, and, and it stems from the seniors. They came in, worked hard, and, and they're setting a good example for everybody else. And if the seniors are working hard, there's no reason why everyone else can't. Yeah, absolutely true. And your team has been do, doing some good things this year. Paul, a great comeback win at home in St. Francis, Brooklyn, a couple of weeks ago, rallying from two goals down to win 3 2. The program's first uh, comeback from a multi goal deficit in at least a decade. So, how much confidence that kind of result build with the team and with, in your players? Yeah, I think that was that was huge. And, and, and it really stemmed from, from the whole team. And every kid, I think we played close to 22 of 24 players on the roster and every kid went in with you know we we don't want to lose this game this is a very winnable game and and it showed a lot of character being down two goals they could have easily fell over and they didn't so again the the seniors the captains have really led by example and it shows a lot uh results wise and you know the team's attitude yeah, and that attitude is going to be key going forward because the conference season is underway. Your team is showing you can compete with the best in the MAC, as shown by that one run draw you guys had up at Maris. So, what do you hope your team can accomplish the rest of this year? Yeah, our our goal is to make the the MAC tournament. It's going to be a huge, huge ask, but that's our goals. I'd rather have high expectations than settle for mediocrity. And the girls believe, you know, we have Sienna on Saturday, followed by Manhattan, followed by St. Peter's, the next three, and two of the three are at home. So if we could do well at home, win a couple of these games and build some confidence, I think that, you know, making the tournament is not out of the question. It's going to be difficult, but it's not out of the question. Coach, thanks for all the time today. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. That was Coach Todd Florida of the Iona women's soccer team. For more from Coach Plor and to check out the full interview, check out our website over at www.youtube.com slash IC Gales. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums, ready to race to you. All right, it is time to look ahead to the upcoming week in Iona Athletics. We have a busy week ahead, so let's not waste any more time and dive right in. On Monday, October 7th, the Iona golf team will be at the Matthews Auto Collegiate Invitational for the second day of competition at that event. Again, Iona golf at Matthews Auto Collegiate Invitational on Monday the 7th. Let's skip ahead to Wednesday, October 9th, a soccer doubleheader of sorts. The men's soccer team will be home at Manhattan at 3 o'clock at Mazella Field. The women's soccer team, led by Coach Plore, will be at Manhattan at night. Again, men's soccer, home Manhattan at 3 at Mazella. Women's soccer at Manhattan. On Friday, October 11th, uh, Iona's cross-country teams, both of them will be at the Metropolitan Championships. Again, both 
men's and women's cross country will be at the Metropolitan Championships on Saturday, October 12th. A busy Saturday, and that's going to be a trend here in October. Our Saturdays here in New Rochelle will be packed full of action. We'll start with the volleyball team. They are on the road. They're taking on Manhattan. Men's water polo, a home match against Princeton at 10 o'clock in the morning. Women's soccer also home against St. Peter's. That matchup will be at Mazella Field at 11 a.m. Men's and women's swimming, first time we mentioned them this year, they will be at Holy Cross. And men's soccer, home against Fairfield at 3 at Mazzello Field. So a true soccer doubleheader at Mazzello on the 12th. Women's game first at 11 against St. Peter's. Men's game 3 at Mazzella against Fairfield. And last but not least, we go to Sunday, October 13th. Iona's rowing team will be at the head of the Passaic for an event there. Again, Iona rowing at the head of the Passaic. So that is what we have for you this week. For full game times and schedules, check out our website, www icgales.com you can go to our composite calendar section for all that information there including game times, broadcasts venues, all that good stuff and be sure to follow the Gales on social media, check out all of our accounts, the same handle for all of them at icgales and that's all we have for you this week we will be back on Monday with another new episode of the Iona Athletics Podcast until then, keep fighting the good fight Gale Nation Fight!